Hello, my name is Dave Melendez, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up all of your equipment using the Dell Docking Station. So here's the Dell Docking Station. It consists of three parts, the docking station, the power brick, and the power cable. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and connect the power brick to the docking station using this end here. And if you'll see on the back of the docking station, you have the power port where this connects. You also have ethernet port, two USB ports, one USB-C port, an HDMI port, and two display ports. And then on the back, we have an additional USB port and a USB-C port. So we connect the, the brick to the docking station. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect the power cable to the other end of the brick and then the power cable to our power source. I'm gonna connect mine to my outlet on the wall. Now that we have that connected, we can go ahead and connect the docking station to our laptop. So if you have a Microsoft laptop, that USB-C port is going to be right here on the side where this connects, just like that. Or if you have a HP laptop, then that connection is going to be right here. And the docking station will connect right there. Next thing we're going to do is connect our monitor to the docking station. So the monitor will need two cables. We can use the display port cable on each side, on each end, and then the power cable. So what we're going to do is connect the one end of the display port to the docking station. Just like that. This, this end goes connected to the back of the monitor. Then we'll take our power cable and this end goes connected to the back of the monitor, and then this end goes connected to our power source. Now that we have the monitor connected, we can go ahead and connect the rest of our accessories. So I'm gonna connect my mouse to an available USB port on the docking station. Then I'm going to connect my keyboard. to the other available USB port on the docking station. Now, if you have a headset, you can connect the headset either to an available port on the docking station, which I have one right here in the front, or you can connect it to the side of your laptop in an available USB port on the laptop. Last, we're gonna go ahead and connect our ethernet port to our ethernet for our internet connection. So we're going to go ahead and plug one end of the ethernet port to the back of the docking station. And then the other end goes connected to the back of our home router. Now that you have everything connected, we can go ahead and power it on. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the laptop. Normally you would be able to push the power button on the docking station to turn it on. But because this is a Dell docking station is intended to be used specifically with a Dell laptop, we will need to push the power button on the laptop itself to power it on. So on the HP laptop, the power button is found on the top left. I'm going to go ahead and push that, and that will turn on the laptop and everything else that's connected to it. If you're using a Surface laptop, then the power button is found on the top right, right there. Now keep in mind, you should not be connecting a separate charger to the laptops if you have it connected to the docking station because the docking station is already powering and charging your device. Another thing to keep in mind is that you'll notice that the, my monitor did not automatically turn on. It's because you need to sign in before the, before the laptop recognizes the monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in now. And now that it's signed in, the monitor has turned on. So that completes the setup. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.